Now what I'm going to show you is how to use the tech table to terminate a, uh, a standard CAT6 patch panel that uh, all the jacks are loaded into the back of it. Just line up your, with your cage nuts. Now you can choose any position there, whatever is most comfortable for the technician. Use your short thumb screws and just tighten off the patch panel. Just make sure that's nice and solid and secure. And the cable bundle. This is a 24 port patch panel, so your 24 cables. And use those Velcro tie points or uh, cable tie points, depending on what uh, category cable you're going to be terminating. And just secure those on both sides. Now that's a, a, a fairly critical part is to have that cable bundle contained throughout the termination process because it means that the technician is not having to try and hold on to that cable whilst they're terminating and it also means that uh, when they go for a break they can come back and the cables are exactly where they were when they left so they can continue on with that termination and uh, that's uh, increasing that productivity as well. And what we've also got here is a, uh, a product that we've developed to help with the uh, forming up of the patch panels. That's a, you come in a uh, Cat5, Cat6 and also a 6A. They've got 48 cable holding points so that if you're doing a 48 port patch panel it can be used as well. Now just the same, put it in that position where you've got your cage nuts and just use your short thumb screws. and secure it into position. Now you're ready to start dressing up your uh, patch panel. So it just holds it into place like that, so nice and simple. get that nice cascading look of the cables coming off there and flowing nice and evenly. It's also a really good uh, thing to use or, or tool to use when you're training up new technicians because it allows them to form up their cables from 1 to 24 and they've got a nice consistent flow of cables in the first patch panel they do so it'll also decrease that train up time for your new technicians. They're all formed up, we can go through and, and easily mark where we need to trim those cables back. Trim the cables off. And now commence with uh, stripping back and terminating your patch pan.
top row. Now you can go through and, and do that termination process for all 24 cables. Once that patch panel is terminated, just unscrew with the thumb screws and position it into its final location within the equipment rack.